You've done a lot of cool stuff in your career already, and I love asking this uh, of everyone. If, if someone has never seen anything you've done, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Ooh, that's a tough question. I think I would go for The Woman King um, because I got to do strong and vulnerable at the same time in that movie, which I think is hard to do and I found it very hard to do. I did my own stunts entirely for the first time, probably the last time. And um, and it was wonderful and I just love the character and I love Gina and just the whole experience was life-changing for me. Jumping into Bob Marley, one of the things that I really loved about the movie, one of the many things, is that it didn't try to water down Bob's accent for like an American audience. Mm. Because as you're watching, you, you know, I had to like lean in to really make sure I was understanding everything Bob was saying. And, mm. and I, I love that aspect of it, mm. that it's Bob on screen. So yeah. can you sort of talk about like that, that everyone is speaking in their native tongue and like with their accents and it's not being neutered? Mm. There's no other way to tell this story outside of being as authentic as possible to every inch of who Bob is right now, what he was, what he represents. And Jamaica is so, especially Jamaica in the 70s, it's just a special time um, and a really important time in my culture's history. Um, so to have accents that were watered down, I mean, that's one thing that I wouldn't have signed up for at all. I'm of Jamaican heritage and it would have been against everything that I believed in if if we just had an, an quote unquote understandable Jamaican accent. I just think that's wrong in every way. Um, and I think it's important for audiences to lean in sure. with understanding narratives, understanding um, cultures and accents. It's important and it really doesn't underestimate what audiences can do. We shouldn't be spoon feeding them in any way. And the accents being as true as they can be was one way of doing it. I completely agree. So you see the shooting schedule and you know what's in front of you. What's the day that you have? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's the day you have circled in terms of, I cannot wait to film this. And oh my God, how am I going to film this? Ooh, I, okay. All in one, all in one. I remember we were shooting the European tour. Um, Literally, outfit, outfit, different headscarf, different song. Nope, same song, back to a different song. It was like a day of actually being on a live show. <laughs> it felt like doing like backstage costume changes. That was a tough day because it's just so many countries in one go. Um, but really exciting because I got to I actually got to watch Kingsley properly. I got to watch him perform. I was there at the side watching every inch of him. And it was really exciting to me because I come from music and it was just nice to be on stage to be honest and my last question for you i actually i mean kingsley does such a great job and becomes bob mm -hmm. what was it like for you the first time you actually saw him as bob because it's it's a performance yeah yeah you know i would even go as far as to say it's it's more than a performance. It's an, an embodying of a version of Bob that many people in the world won't know. Even people who are of that time, like my parents' generation, I feel like they'll be learning something completely new um, of Bob and of the family and of even Jamaica at the time through this movie. So being with him, just seeing how he was all encompassing, all like prepared, fully, fully in the spirit of Bob was really touching for me being Jamaican and also really helped me to dive into different levels of Mrs. Marley. And order, in order to get their connection, their relationship at the time, I needed him to be exactly where he was. And he, he sat in the pocket every single minute of the day, did not take his finger off the pulse at all. So I thank him for making us strong as a pair together on screen. On that note, congratulations on the movie and good luck with all your speed dating. Thank you so much.